view, that was a little bit of a climb. I was actually down beside the river, just uh, doing a little bit of filming and came through the Old Bailey Gate. So, you can guess where we are this morning, Carter Lake, glorious as you can see from that sky. So the main um, interesting Castle Acre, two buildings, the old uh, room of the castle which was first built around about the 1070s and occupied for over 300 years and uh, you've also got the uh, abbey, the monastery, I haven't got time to explore that today but uh, I'll show you a photograph uh, later on, um, that's fantastic, in fact both buildings are wonderful places to visit. Castle Acre is uh, a very small uh, village, very quiet, although they're cutting grass this morning so it's a little bit noisy. Um, so today I'm going to Litcham. Um, not sure what I'll find, but I have my maps. And uh, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? <laughs> I've got my coffee and cake. So um, it's actually going to be quite a long day for me because, as you know, I walk to the location back so it's going to be about 12 miles um, I think quite a lot of it's going to be on the road today so uh, we'll see how it goes um, so let's make a start um, enjoy the walk thanks for joining me So many people who are always surprised how undulating Norfolk is. As you can see here, going down to a valley, and the bottom of that valley is the river, which I was filming earlier on. You can see how it rises up. It's absolutely gorgeous. There we have the uh, trail mark. We we'll also see this Pedder's Way on there. So this is a crossroads. Uh, Pedder's Way um, starts in uh, Suffolk and heads to the North North Coast. Uh, that's another trail. May do another day. So we now turn left here through a little side street, and then that will take us past the castle, which uh, I'll chat you then. the entrance into Castle Acre and uh, you'll see the river that flows on the outskirts and uh, we've been following that most of the way and you can see it's absolutely glorious today it's great for your heart your mind and uh, helps you through those troubled times being out in the countryside we're now in the bottom of the part of the ramparts of the castle. So as we uh, come out of this onto the top, you'll see a spectacular view of the castle remains. I got the heart rate up coming up there. I said there's going to be a spectacular view from the top. As you can see, it's wonderful. What a panoramic view you were looking at. As I said earlier, uh, the castle was built in the 1070s um, by the Charles Warren family, who uh, were acquainted to William the Conqueror, and we knew what he got up to. So I'm now going to carry along the Nile Valley Way. Here's 
is an next waymark sign. As you can see, there's a lot of walks in this uh, village and they are all well worth exploring. But in any case, we're going on the Nile Valley Way, so let's follow the trail. Although I always enjoy walking in open spaces, I do thoroughly enjoy walking along narrow paths with trees, ancient woodlands and bushes and shrubs overhanging the path. Something quite magical about it. As the footpath leads you further into an enclosed area. Just realised back there, there's a fork in the uh, path. Didn't see a way mark sign though, so I think the map says carry on. So that's what I'm going to do. So I continue eastward and come across this glorious tranquil spot. There's trout in the river and that goes through to Castle Laker as well and uh, this is a or was a flour mill which was built in 1780 and 200 years supplied the village with flour. studying the map for this part of the uh, Nile Valley Walk, I knew that a reasonable amount would be on what I call country lanes. And as you can see, because this grass growing down the middle of the road, it is a bit of a country lane. It's very quiet, but uh, if anybody's walking this, make sure you do take the map with you. I made a mistake back earlier at the mill didn't see a sign and uh, sadly I haven't made another mistake but uh, there was no signage on these roads. Um, but again, I've got a very important announcement to make. Yes, you can guess. I've been going for a couple of hours now and it's time for that coffee and cake. So I'm just going to find a nice little spot to get a view and indulge. See you in a minute. green and luscious. The wheat field is not ready for harvest just yet, but the harvest is well and truly on the way now. Although this isn't quite the Nile Valley way, it's literally following the edge of the road. There's a permissive footpath, so I think it's far better to be on this type of environment for the feet than on the road. A, a problem that is rare. Did you bother to bite though? Join the grass sheep? Yeah. So after quite a long walk on the uh, road, we're now coming to the hamlet of East Lexham. And uh, this looks uh, pretty interesting. Well, it's not a bus stop, is it? Not quite sure what it is, but. It's well maintained. I'm fully refreshed now. 
because I've had my coffee and my cake. So we're now leaving East Flexum, going north, um, follow the road a little way along and then it should come onto a bit of a footpath. And uh, that will take us to Lincham, which isn't too far away now. And uh, that will be another section of the walk completed. So let's see what else we can find of interest. So not very far out of Lexham, you then come across the Waymark. One of the things you have to uh, accept when you're in the countryside is that it's a farming area and at the moment these guys are spreading chicken manure on the land and it smells like chicken manure, can't complain beautiful countryside. So let's just carry on. These open fields and large blue skies just helps to raise your spirits when you're feeling a bit low. So it's good to get out and enjoy the smells and the noise of the countryside. So I'm getting much closer now. Um, this is the Lich and Common Local Nature Reserve, um, but actually it is common land. Um, and common land was designated in the Doomsday Book, where you'd call it a land grab all sorted out and there are sections luckily for us people designated as common land where the local commoners I'm not being rude by saying that can put their cattle their sheep etc to graze so this is very pleasant and as I've said we're just on the outskirts of Litcham and I'll have a little chat when we get near the end so we come out into the open common, which in some respects has got characteristics of the new forest. And uh, yes, there are horses on here as well as uh, sheep and cattle. I hope you've enjoyed this section of the walk. I certainly have. I've seen a lot of birds. I've seen kites. I have seen uh, pheasants, partridges, a lot of flowers as well, wildflowers. So it's been absolutely magnificent. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's done my heart a lot of good. So can you please make sure that you now, having watched this, get out into the countryside and do some walking. It doesn't have to be very far just be out there and enjoy it so all i've got to say now is thank you very much indeed once again guys for watching this and i hope you enjoyed it and uh, go on to the next section i am on uh, youtube all the walks are now on youtube so um, watch them all and enjoy them so stay safe during this difficult period and uh, i'll catch you soon see you again <laughs>